before the sun officially rises, let's go ahead and take a nap. Where it's, there's a little bit that's been going on. And I really do have to catch you guys up. Because over here, I wanted to go ahead and see if there's anything dying that we need to get a... Uh, it'd actually be nice to kill that witch. Because you just, you never know what a witch is going to drop. Oh, you whore. You want to play this game? We could play this game. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh boy. And she just down. God dang it! This is not good. This is not good. Come on. What did I win? Did I win sticks? Is that what I won? Sticks? I want a refund. This is not what I signed up for. There we go. Okay, we escaped with our lives. But yeah, we got sticks. So, unfortunately, can't force things. And just like we can't force things, we can't force these guys to breed. We were able to get two of these guys. Okay. It sounds like you guys freaking put things in there, but you never do. So I'm so confused by that. But yeah, these guys will not breed for the lie of, for, like, they're totally using those composters. They have to be. But I cannot get these guys to breed. And I don't know what I have to do to get them to breed. Hopefully in due time, we will get that fixed. Now, of course, the grass is now officially moved and I put it into an official area over here. So we got the grass over here and we got the mycelium over here. I'm just waiting for that mycelium to go to that one spot and then we're gonna take these two blocks over here to the grass, which the grass has already yielded us, yielded us. Some nice little chickens, which so far the eggs have been in our favor with giving us new babies. But not that time. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. We get a second try. Nope. Unfortunately. There it is. <laughs> Just say, see, as long as you're going to keep popping them out, I'm going to keep trying. And then we also got one sheep. Unfortunately, only one. We do not have a second one for some reason. We only got one chicken and one sheep that spawned on the island over here, and then I just kind of dragged them over there. So, things are coming along very nicely with the island. I'm very happy. Right now, we just have the villagers, and I would like to get them moved to an actual village if we can get them to start spawning. And then once that's going, then uh, just change that to like a cow pen or something. We did have two trader llamas that despawned. Apparently, you can't keep them anymore. And, uh, the wandering trader was, like, he gave us, uh, jungle saplings and sand. Wait, where's the sand go? There's the sand. So that is lovely that we have that as well. If we come across a desert, we can place that stuff down and maybe try and get some rabbits. Or husk? I think it's husk. But we do have the infinite water now, thanks to the cauldron and some rain, which took a lot more rain than we wanted. But we got that finally, so infinite water source, a lake, as me and Ben discussed. We're going to go ahead and go all the way down there to the bottom, and we'll go ahead and take a trip down there here in a second. Not really anything too new to show. But I also talked with Ben, and this needs to go away, okay? To be quite honest, this thing treated us pretty well in the beginning. It's still a pain in the butt, but... It's time for it to end, because we have the infinite water now. We can make an official mob grinder, an AFK one, and it'll be absolutely lovely having that be a thing that we could just move past. <laughs> that is pretty much it for what's going new here on the island. There's never really too much going here on the island. It's pretty self-contained, usually. But let's go ahead and take a trip down. Or we can kind of take a look up. This is something that Ben kind of showed me one time. He was like, it's looking like a satellite, bro. And I was looked up, and sure enough, there's definitely, definitely a lot. Jesus. There's <laughs> definitely a lot going on up there. And I absolutely do love it. So, I'm, I'm very, very happy with how things are coming along. Especially with how we started pretty hardcore with just a small little island, and now we're out to this. And now we're about ready to go ahead and start developing a lake down here, which I'd say this is probably going to be the majority base of it, because 
like since we're expanding out this way it's probably a better idea to have the lake out here but we're gonna go and have that be the killing platform still for uh when the mobs drop for the mob grinder so i'm excited for that as well i do want to take a trip into the nether though really quick and see if anything has changed here so i believe oh no oh no oh they shouldn't have been mad at me oh no ben oh he didn't take care of things <laughs> um yeah there's a new killing platform in there but there's not much point in me showing that because i'm just gonna die again so uh well that's unfortunate okay yeah that's pretty much gonna do for this episode though because I'm not going to wait for that mycelium to go, and I'm not going to go into the nether and keep getting killed. I'm not going to wait for these guys to try and eventually breed. Even though I think everything's fine. We have the beds, we have the workstations. It seems like this should be working. But it's not. So, gotta figure out something. Something's wrong here. Might hop over to the boredom server and check out Daniel's villager breeder and see what's going on there. But, if it requires us to have more like actual farming land because all I have is just those two little things of farming land for them to work Aww. if it requires more than that then uh, I hate to say it but this is Aww. not gonna happen <laughs> there's no way that we're gonna be able to do that yet because we need a wandering trader and actually one thing we need to do is uh, start getting the emerald collection up while these guys are here so that's that's definitely what we need to do. Maybe we have to trade with them a little bit more. Maybe then they'll start breeding. Who knows? But I'll get to the bottom of it, and we'll get that going. I'm so far pretty happy with how the island's going, and who knows how longer we'll be able to go. Me and Ben are still having a good fun time, and I'm going to try and get back onto the Borm server a little bit as well. In general, I just want to get to some more content making. That's what I really want to do. So... We'll see how everything goes, but for right now, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys back here in the next episode.